If you're creating low content books for Amazon KDP, then you'll know that coloring books and activity books are selling like hotcakes, especially in quarter four. How can you create activity books, puzzle books really easily? If you want to find out, watch this video. Hello Home Bosses, I'm Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com and welcome to this channel which is all about helping you to make money online. If that sounds interesting to you, click subscribe and like to get more videos like this. So today we're talking about puzzle books and activity books and coloring books. Now, if you've been on KDP and you've been creating low content books, you know that everybody is talking about making coloring books and activity books and puzzle books. And I think the reason people like going into that kind of niche is because activity books and coloring books, they are quite difficult to make compared to low content books. Making a notebook with lined pages is relatively easy compared to making a coloring book or an activity puzzle book. But there are ways that you can make coloring books and activity books very easily. And today I'm going to concentrate on puzzle books. And I want to show you how easy it is to create them with the software that I'm going to show you. So let's just have a look at puzzle books or activity books first of all, and see how they're doing in terms of sales and ranking. And the other thing I just want to say as well is if you research puzzle books, you will find that there's a lot of competition. And I know I always say don't be afraid of competition, but obviously you have to be realistic. So the more competition you have, the more difficult it's going to be to rank for that particular niche. So what can you do about it? Well, the best thing you can do and to really give your book a chance to to rank and show up under all those other books is to niche down. And when you're thinking of activity books or puzzle books, if you just research puzzle books, then obviously you're going to get a lot of competition showing up. But let's just go a little bit deeper into it and niche down and see what we can come up with and see if there's a, a gap that we can fill where we get a good chance of ranking for our keywords. So let's go on to Amazon.com first. We're going to type in puzzle books, first of all. So obviously we're going to get a lot of results because puzzle books, everybody's making puzzle books and that's going to be difficult to rank for. But let's just see what the situation is, first of all. Straight away, we've got 60,000 results for puzzle books, so that's quite a lot. The self-publishing titans extension for Chrome that I really like to use is telling me that this has a, a score of 42%, which is actually not too bad. What we want to get is a score of 63% or higher, but 42, you know, it's, it's maybe worth considering. But like I said, it's quite a lot of competition. So what can we do to niche down? Well, what I like to do is I like to have a look at the drop down first of all, and see if we can find anything that looks interesting here that we can click on. So this one has caught my eye, puzzle book books for seniors. Now puzzle books for seniors are basically puzzle books with a large print so that people who are older can see the pages or the can see the print better. So it's usually printed in larger letters and larger graphics. So that might be a good idea. So let's have a look and click on for seniors and see what happens. I'm just letting this load up. Okay, so this is giving us a score of 54%, which is not bad because that's nearly 63%, which is what we need to really go for it. But as I said before in a video, if the score is below 63%, sometimes it's still worth creating a book. So let's investigate a little more. So the number of results is 4,608, which is not too bad. The average price is 9.88. That's a good price. You can make a good profit on that. And the average BSR, which is really what we, what I always look for, if that's pretty low, 
then that's good. That shows that there's a lot of demand for this type of book. So the average PSR is showing up as 27,829, which is great. So to me, anything under 100,000 is great and the lower, the better. Let's have a look what we've got here. We've got a, a jigsaw puzzle. That's not really a book. So these tend to be puzzles. Let's have a look and see if we can find any activity books. So here's one large print word search. Quite um, expensive, fourteen pounds, fourteen dollars fifteen. So you can make a really good profit on that. I always think that the higher you can price your book, the better because you know your profit will be more. So you need to sell less books to to get a decent return. But obviously, the higher the price, you might sell less. I'm I'm not sure about that. I always think if it's worth it then you know people will still buy your book and this looks like a nice book it's um it's got quite a lot of reviews so people obviously like it so what else have we got a jumbo 400 uh, puzzles 400 brain games for every day so that's looking really good we can see there's quite a lot there fun and relaxing adult activity book there's a large print word finder puzzle book. So, so there's another large print word search and all of these have really good BSRs and I think there's definitely a market here. So you could make a puzzle book for seniors and just make sure that it's large print. But let's have a look and see what else we can have a look at. So we look at the drop down and anything that you feel is interesting you can click on puzzle books for kids age 9 to 12 so this is quite specific let's see what the score is here i imagine there will be quite a lot of competition for this and that's 52 percent. so again it's worth looking into i would say this has a really good chance if you create a really good book with a really good cover you have a good chance of of selling in this one and how else do I find niches? What what I like to do, this is a little trick that you can try. You type in puzzle book and then you you go through the alphabet. So you, you click A and then you get some more ideas here that you can explore. Or you can click B and then you get other um, suggestions. So some of them obviously we can't look into, like we can't sell in bulk uh, or we can we can't sell bundles. Uh, or in a box so you have to sort of use your common sense a little bit let's type in c so again cryptogram that's a good one that we could look into christmas very good one so there are niches that you can find just by going through the alphabet d let's have a look at this one disney we can't do <laughs> stay away from trademarked and copyrighted things puzzle book for dementia now this is an interesting one let's have a look because if it can help people with dementia. So this is giving me a few ideas just thinking about it because people that suffer from dementia, they sometimes live in the past. They think about past things. So you could tailor your book to maybe bringing back memories for people. So you could make a puzzle book um, for the 50s, for example, and include things that were famous in the 50s, 50s television programs or 50s music or 50s fashion or 50s food that was um, popular at the time. And then you can also go into 60s, 70s, 80s. You know, you could make a puzzle book on 80s songs. <laughs> so, you know, there's there's a lot of ideas that you can incorporate and niche down the niche score is 60 percent, so that tells me that's quite good actually so might be worth considering something like that so there's another little niche and you can see the type of covers that people create investigate the kind of covers that people have as well so that you can maybe see what colors they have and also try and stand out but also don't um, make it too the same as everybody else try and use something that does make your book stand out in terms of colors or in terms of popping popping out it books have to look good as a thumbnail you know if you think about that when you're designing your cover that you you have to remember that 
people looking at your book for the first time, they only see a very small picture of it. So when you design your cover, bear that in mind. So another one I wanted to show you is Word Search Puzzle Book Cursing. Now, cursing and swearing seems to be very popular now for books. And again, you know, there's a lot of um, scope to niche down in that respect. So it's got a score of 59%. You could maybe make a word search puzzle book for adults swearing in a different language, for example. So that's one idea. And there's more ideas. Maybe have a look at this keyword here. Easy adult activity book games, puzzles and more. I know this is very long. Um, but it gave me a niche score of 50%. And again, I found it by looking at the drop down when I typed in easy adult activity book. So, you know, you, you just find by typing in different things, you can find different ideas. And as you can see, the average BSR here is 343,000, which is not great, but it's still worth considering because um, there's still a lot of them selling. And just keep exploring more keywords so that you find some that are as close to the 63% as possible. And another one I found which is very interesting is this puzzle books for seniors in Spanish. Now, if you don't speak any Spanish, it doesn't matter. You can probably find some words that you can translate and make your book that way. Or you can pay someone on Fiverr to create a list of Spanish words for you. So there's lots of possibilities. And maybe you speak a different language. Maybe you speak French. Maybe you speak any other language that you could use. I know Spanish is quite popular because a lot of people in the US speak Spanish. You know, you could make it niching down even more and you could use a different language. I'm sure French would be quite popular as well. Let's have a look what the score is here. It's 56%, which is not bad at all. And making these in different languages would probably appeal to people who are studying foreign languages. And it would be nice for them to have a puzzle book where they can practice what they are learning. So this is another idea. You could market this to language schools. There's so many opportunities. So I hope I've given you a few ideas for what kind of puzzle books you can make. And now I want to show you how you can make those books. And for that, I'm going to go to BookBold. Now you've probably heard of BookBold because they've got a lot of tools that you can use when you're creating books on KDP. They've even got a lot of free resources. So if you click on, if you go on bookbold.io, and you click on resources, you can find an interior wizard where they actually give you quite a few interiors for free. So this is a really good, a good tool to use anyway, which is free for you to use. There's some interiors that you can only access if you've got uh, the membership, but there's plenty of things for free here. And you've got an interior PDF combiner. You've got so many things there for free. But if you want to take your business to the next level, you get a lot of other things in BookBold that are very, very interesting. Now, you probably know that KD Spy is part of BookBold. And if you get the subscription, you can see all the tools they have, like uh, product search, seller search, favorites, the cloud, which is a really good tool, keywords tool, lister plugin. Um, the spy tool, the designer. So this is similar to maybe Canva if you want to design your covers or your interiors, which is a really good tool as well. Then there's the mass cover creators. You can make, you can create a lot of covers in one go if that's what you want to do. And um, there's just so many things, KDP Category Finder and Book Scout, which is a really good one. And I will make some videos on more detailed features, but you also get the tutorials within BookBold. So that's that's the really good thing about it. You can look up how to use all these things. The one I want to show you today is PuzzleWiz, which is the puzzle maker. So you can see how many different types of puzzles you can make. You can make Sudoku puzzles, crossword, word search, cryptogram, which is really good, word scramble, missing vowel, mazes you can produce, kakuro, which I don't even know <laughs> what it is, I'm afraid. I'll have to look into this. You can turn things into grayscale. And there's 
there's also a connect the dots. There's just so many in one particular software. I know there are a lot of puzzle softwares out there and I've looked into quite a few, but they don't have such a comprehensive list. You can either get Sudoku and crosswords puzzles or word searches, but they don't include connect the dots or um, outline. Things like that I find is it's not as comprehensive as puzzle ways. I find this is probably the one where you can create the most variety of um, puzzles. So, and also it's got all the tutorials. So it tells you exactly how you can make all these things. And it's very, very easy. I mean, I tried a tutorial for the maze, for example, I quickly show you if you click on this. First of all, you just decide on what kind of book you want to make. So you select bleed in this example, or you can select no bleed and you select the size of your book. I usually do 8.5 by 11 for activity or coloring books and then you decide whether you want it double-sided or single-sided so I'm going for single-sided and let's just make one page but you can make as many pages as, as you like and this will create those pages you can choose your font so for a maze I think it's not very important but let's choose one um, that's quite easy to read I always try to choose fonts that are easy to read and you want to include the solution and you want to match puzzle and solution page numbers if you're making more than one page. I'm just going to show you as an example, I'm making one page, so I won't need page numbers. And let's click Submit. So it says your document is being processed. Please wait. And it's already done it. So now I can download my last document. And there's the maze already created, ready to publish in a book with the solution. So you can see it's made a page, the back of the page will be blank and then it tells you solutions and then the solution comes after that. So very easy to create a whole book. If you make 50 pages, you basically get 50 puzzles at the click of a button. So it's super, super easy. I really like this and I'm going to make a lot of activity books now <laughs> for Christmas. And like I said to you, I mean, the good thing about this is you can niche down. So you, for example, you can make a word search and the way to do it now is exactly the same. You select how you want your book to look. You, you select the sizes, whether you want double-sided or single-sided, the amount of pages. Let's create three pages. Um, let's choose a nice simple font. Let's try Laura. That seems okay. And now it gives you a choice of using random words or you can download a file. So you take an Excel sheet or Google sheet and you basically just type in the words that you want to use. Let's imagine we're making a Christmas um, word search. So we type in Christmas and then you type in Santa and then you type in decorations so all words that are to do with Christmas snow gifts angels tree candles festive you can have as many I think as you like but I usually make like 10 or 15 words and then if you want to do another page with more words, another puzzle, you leave a line free and then you type in the next words that you want to use. So for example, you can type in Rudolph, reindeer, candy, snowflake, elf, and so on. And then if you want to create another one, the same thing again, you just leave a, a, a line free and you type in more so you can. this is how you would make your list and then you save that list and then you basically upload it to bookbold i'll show you how to do that and you download it as a csv file i forgot to say and then you tick whatever you want to to include if you want to include the solutions i'll untick this one and i'll keep the solutions and the page numbers and then you click submit and then you just download the document and here we are so it's created our three pages really quickly. You can either leave it like this or you can put it onto Canva, download it as a JPEG file 
and then you can add Christmassy decorations, little graphics or whatever you want to do with this to make it really stand out. So this is how easy it is to create a word search puzzle on PuzzleWiz. And like I said, I mean, there's so many more. There's Sudokus, crosswords, cryptograms, so many you can create. I just really love this this program and I'm I'm so glad I found it because I I was looking for a a puzzle creator program that was that was doing all of those things and there are some really good ones out there but then they haven't got the amount of puzzles that you can create the variety of puzzles so you can even do connect the dots and the tutorials really explain how you can create all these things very very easy and just to quickly show you the pricing so book bold is 9.99 per month and for that you get the keyword product research the cover designer all of that the pro version is a bit more expensive at 19.99 but that gets you the puzzle creation software included. So not only do you get the whole keyword research tools, you also get the puzzle creation together. So that's pretty good because considering that other puzzle softwares cost quite a bit of money anyway, you get quite a lot for your money. And the other thing I can offer you if you use the code the home boss, you can get a 20% lifetime discount so i leave the link for that underneath this video so don't forget if you are getting this use the home boss as a code and that will give you a 20 percent off for life so um for the lifetime of this tool so i can only really recommend it i really think this is a game changer for me because i didn't make many puzzle books i didn't make many coloring books because they take so much time to make and actually with this it's going to take me very little time to create quite a few puzzle books but remember what's important to succeed in this is to niche down and to find good keywords to to really stand out in this game there are a lot of activity books already on Amazon you need to niche down and you need to create something different and I've shown you how you can do that and I will make more videos regarding this so I will make more videos on how I make my puzzle books and how I um, look for the keywords and get the right niches so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope you you learned something and that it helped you if you're considering making puzzle books and I will see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye bye.